The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. How are we doing, folks? We'll give everybody another minute or two here. I'm just going to I'm gonna walk in, get a quick drink of water, and then uh, we'll get started. Um, Mattel, got your thing taken care of for you. Um, we're going to go into processing. So while you're waiting for me, if you go to the processing.org, while we're waiting for everybody else to get in here, be honest with you, go to processing.org, and you can download it on your Windows or Macs or Linux machine. So go ahead. Let me show you. I'm not showing my screen. That's not really good. Go to this processing, Windows, Linux, or Mac. Don't pay for anything. Um, let's get it rocking. All right. I'll be right back up, and we'll get started. Processing is a, a pretty cool language. I like it. And it allows you to do uh, things visually really pretty quickly. It does tie in with Arduino. Some of the stuff will make you feel like, ah, I've seen this before. All right. So let's give it a moment. Go ahead and download it. Try to get it installed. It doesn't take long at all. If you don't have a computer, by the way, you can go on the App Store and get it for your iPad. So I meant to tell that too, I just realized. So you can run this on your App Store as well. Okay? Raise your hand once you have it installed. Tails got installed. The rest of you, raise your hands once you have it installed. If you cannot install it, like I don't have a computer or I don't know what it would be reason, raise your hand then as well and just send me a question. Tell me, hey, I can't run it on my computer. 
this is really not going to, um, this is really built on the fact that we're going to go through this and there's going to be times I'm going to stop and I'm going to have you actually do things in here. We're not going to have death by PowerPoint. So I still am waiting on Levi and Max to tell me they've got it installed. Leave your hands up. No, guys, leave your hands up if you have it installed. I can, I will lower your hands. Like, Mark, would you leave your hand up there, buddy? Because if you don't have, unless you have it installed, and you don't have it installed. If you have it installed, leave your hand up there. And just leave it on. That way I can figure out what's going on. Because right now it looks like these people do not have it installed. Levi, Mark, and Max. So, Mark, so good. Mark, leave your hand up there. Let me see if there's any questions down there. Maybe someone will see it. Done. My speaker wasn't working, Levi. What are we downloading? We are downloading processing. Can you see the screen? So, it's down to... Let's go up here. So I'm just down with Levi and Max. Max, I'm on mute. Max here. Max, are you downloading it, buddy? Yeah, I'm downloading it. It's 65 percent done. Not All right, so you're almost there. And Levi, Levi, you know to download processing, right? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got it. Something. All right. From a standstill kind of so let's see where we are in this, see if they've updated it. We uh well you're rest of your waiting. We had six thousand seven hundred and ninety-six shields installed by Sunday. We've given out that many. I think we're it's gonna be more than two thousand today. We really gotta ramp up more to get to our target, but we're definitely doing at least fifty thousand shields. So that's what's going on with that. Someone had asked. All right. There, this is processing. And you're downloading it right there. I'm going to give it one more minute and then we got to go move on, guys. I'm sorry, but it's going to be 410. I have a question. Okay. What is your question? What's your question, Mark? I'll raise your hand. Um, yeah. Thank you for asking. Yeah, Mark, what's up, buddy? Um, well, sorry. Uh, uh, on mine, when I open it in my file folder, it just it has just a bunch of different uh like folders. Is Did that what it's supposed it to be? Yet? Have you unzipped it? Uh, what does that mean? Okay, it like, probably needs to be extracted. Let me see when you download it. Was it Windows? Yeah, Windows, yeah. Well, let me go to Processing. Download. All right, so let's go here. Yeah, it's a zip file. Once it gets unzipped, open when done, you'll see you right-click on it, you extract all. I'm on a Mac, so it's a little Oh, okay. Better. Oh, so, it yeah, that, that's what was telling me that to do that, too. So you click Extract All? Yes, okay. and then you can run it from there. It's a compression file, so it's not so long to download. You get a game. They're doing that all the time, probably a game. You just don't see it. Uh, I think mine's going to take a while. All right. Well, we're going to go on. You can see it. All right. I'm going to hack a day. It's coming up. I'm just pulling this up. All right. And show and tell, which is great. Everybody shares what they're doing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let's get started, guys, just because, and then we can always, guys are downloading, keep downloading, we'll go out here. So this is a little bit of a pun, play on words, dad joke, I guess, process, the art of programming. You use this for doing graphics, it's pretty cool. It also ties in with Arduinos, and we'll help with that. I want to give this guy credit right here, Daniel Schiffman. Um, I'm basing my whole presentation on a lot of the work he's done. I want to give him credit. This is his work. I'm just using it to present to you guys. 
Pardon me. There's the software to download it. This is open source. Open source is great. You want to support them, that's great. You don't have to. It's free. Please don't spend money on it now, but down the road, maybe you do. If you start using it all the time. Now, I need everybody's attention now while yours download, and we can always stop once you've got yours downloaded. But I want you to look at this Cartesian grid. This is something you've all experienced at some point already. So we want to describe on this graph, we do y1, x1. You end up in that corner right here. y, x, negative 1, y1, right there. Negative 1 to 1, right there. Ne 1 to negative 1, right here. So that's how that describes it. So you can have negative numbers in the x and in the y. You all have seen that. When you do computer graphics and with processing, there is not a negative x and y. Well, that. So zero, zero is on the corner. X goes in that direction. Ah, that's still pretty much what we're used to. But x never goes in that direction. Y goes down. It never goes up. And that's going down is positive. That's the opposite of what you're used to. So I want you to know it. And Scratch, it's up. Scratch uses regular Cartesian because they're trying to teach kids they're all newbies over here the only time we get in a negative is when we're in the z-axis when we want depth so here's zero 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 here's 100 zero so it's 100 along the x-axis zero along the y zero along the z here is zero one hundred zero so this is zero along the x-axis 100 on the y-axis zero on the z-axis here's a hundred hundred zero x y z but when I want to go back, they make that a negative 100. They make that a negative, that a negative, and so they can come out the other way as positive 100. All right? Just this will help you as you're thinking about things. All right. Here we go. I can't say enough. When you go to reference, when you're trying to figure out how to do something, Use the reference and look up at all these functions, okay? If I wanted to draw a circle, I should be looking at two-dimensional prim uh, primitives. So these are all the little things you go to draw everything else. There's rect for a rectangle. There's square. There's where you go to make a triangle. It will tell you if you click on there how to do it. Here is, if you go down farther, they have three-dimensional primitives, how to make a sphere. It'll show you how to do that. Here's your settings, fill, non-fill, stroke, all those things. So we're going to come to those, but I want you to learn not just to memorize what I show you, but think about, well, man, Mr. D never told me how to do this. This will help you find that out. So the first thing we're going to look at is size. Size is the background, the window that your program will want run in. Think of it as this, like the equivalent of the page in Corel Draw or Inkscape. That's where we set that size and everything inside the page prints or cuts or whatever we want. Same thing in the programming language. And there's a couple different ways we can do about go about doing this. You can go size, right like that, and I'll show you. We'll, we'll get more as time goes by. This, you just set it. So if you have an iPad, I do want to show you this. If you're doing this on the iPad, is anybody right now using an iPad on this? So I'm not, maybe I don't Okay, I don't see anybody with that. So we're gonna go ahead and say no, so you don't have to worry. Um, I did do that. But here's the size you can do. So we're gonna jump down here. So here it is. If you type, go into sketch, do new sketch, type size, parentheses, 640, comma, the size of a function. These are two arguments. That's what, function is what you want it to do, and then it needs information, those are arguments. So 640, 360, semicolon. And it's going to produce this when you run it. How do you run it? Run the little arrow key, just like we do with an Arduino. The people that made Arduino use Sketch, which was open source, to do their deal. All right? Raise your hand. Start up it. Raise your hand once you've got it working. Run this program right here. If there's voids, if there's void setup and void, void I think it's drawing, get... Um, we're not going to use it. So don't don't use those to be getting. John Mark's got his. Levi's gotten his. Mateo, let's see what he got. Max. 
All right, Mikhail Scott has. Get everybody up here. Hassan Scott has good. Um, I'm worried that Mark and Max still don't have a program here. Um, once you've unzipped it, Mark, all you have to do is click on the executable. It'll be a little processing icon. All right, let me go ahead and ask Max. Max, what is yours doing? For some reason, I uh, I tracked it all of it, and then I said I uh, it so that it would run, but for some reason, the Windows uh, computer isn't allowing it to run for some reason. Are you running a Mac or are you running a PC? Uh, I'm running a Windows. Okay, so that's a PC. All right, Windows. And so when you the go to run the processing program, it won't let you run it. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's like, don't let me run it. It's saying that micro Windows protects your PC. Okay, yeah, some kind of security thing, thing that you have to sit there and say, I understand, let me run it anyways. Oh, yeah, it's, oh, click more details and press run anyways. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's just the security system saying that. All right? Oh, I got it, okay. All right. Perfect. Max, did you understand that? Okay. Yeah, now it's running. Great. So, you guys, take a minute, run this, and then we'll get going on. All right. Now, okay, raise it. Once you guys have gotten it, all you're typing is size, parentheses, get rid of everything else, delete if there's anything else on your new program comes up. Type in size, parentheses, 640, comma, 360, parentheses, comma, and then hit the run plug. This is just like on our Arduino. All right, I'm gonna go on to the next one, guys, because we're gonna just challenge everybody. All right, now, go ahead and run 640 by 800 and see what it looks like. Just real quickly, you should see it looking up. Put everybody's hands down now. You should see, that's the window that whatever you're drawing is gonna show up in. So that's 640 by 800. Play with it, just experiment a little bit since we're waiting for folks. There's 640 by 180. Think of it, the best analogy I think is when you're drawing program and you set the size of the document. This is the window, same kind of things. This is in pixels. All right. Then once we get that a couple times, I'll, I'm gonna show everybody that's once you experiment a couple times, raise your hand so I know if I can go on. All right. Bunch of people have. Excellent. Okay, great. Now, back again. If I wanted to draw a line, I'd look under references and find line. And there's the line function. And then they have all these details. You can copy this. You can run it. You can play it out so you really understand it. So I got size 640. I've got lines, first point starting at X of 100, Y at 50, it draws X at 600, Y at 250. So the line's gonna stop up some point here and work its way down. There it is. See if you can do something. I'm not even gonna show you the code, other than real quick show you the line. There is line. See if you can make a line go across there. I'm putting everybody's hands down. Do it once you got it. It's also neat about processing is that we can get feedback on Arduino. We can make cool graphics to control our Arduino. So Levi's got one live. Levi, play with this a little bit. Leave your hand up and go ahead and keep playing with things while we get for everybody else.
Raise your hand once you have the line drawn, folks. Okay, great. Keep remembering to do that. Let me go up and show you one more time for those people that don't quite have it done. Line 100, comma 50, comma 600, 250. This is saying, hey, line, start at this point, X of 100, Y at 50, then draw at 600 and 250. And you get a line like that. Like we said, it starts up there, it works its way, it's all inside that window. Now, rectangle. Wow, if I want rectangle, what do you suppose that is? Oh my goodness, it's rect. So there you are. And by the way, you can Google real quick always in this stuff. Hey, how do I make a rectangle in processing? It's going to give you this function. Now, you can see on this function, if we look up here, here's one corner, here's the other corner. And then you see that, then you see the seven. That starts to round things off. And then you can add a bunch of components so that how much it rounds. And, you know, you can make it as you set there. Um, so let's go here. So I have rectangle 50 by 100, 100 by 200. So this is at one X coordinate. There's the other X coordinate. There's the Y. There's the Y. It looks like this. See if you can make this happen. I'm going to put your hands down. Let's do it. Raise your hand once you have that going on. All right, so we guys are cranking this out. Play with an experiment while we wait on other people. You might want to save it from time to time. All right, we got hands up. Okay, so guys, there we go. All right, now put your hands down. This is going to take more than just a couple moments. And um, there's a face I just drew using different references and things. Um, go ahead and see. I'm going to give you a, a little bit of time right now. See and try this. That's a, I guess a guy, I don't know, it's a terrible drawing on my part. That's why I use numbers and uh, drawing things. Go ahead and use the primitives, a line, a rectangle, a circle, an arc, or a triangle, a circle or arc, I don't care. Make your own drawing. So in other words, make a face something like this. Can you do that? Once you have it, raise your hand. You're going to have to sit there and play with this a little bit. Um, I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna give it so many minutes, and then we're gonna start doing color. But go ahead. Let's say it's 4:27 now. Let's give you eight minutes to do this.
All right, how many people got this? Takes a little while. Save the file you've got. Just save that file. Get ready to do a new one because I want to show you colors and we can do some other things, okay? So I'm going to go on here because that takes a little while. Reminder RGB, red, green, blue. The value of each of these can be between 0 and 255 because it's actually 1 to 256, but we start with 0 because programming because we're not going to remain spot. Um, they have color wheels out there that will help you pick out RGB values, by the way. So, real quickly, what is 255? Somebody answer me that back as a question. What do you think? All right, someone just yelled. I don't think, hey, here we go. Oh, my three boys, I have a question. Never mind, how do you set background? We're gonna get to that in a little bit. It's not letting me run. Oh, no, you got unzip it. Fill and stroke. Yes, we're going to get to all those. JB is very similar to this. Yes, it is, because it is a lot of Java. Java programming. White. No, that would be 255.00 is red. Good job, Levi. 250.0, is what, folks? Look at the lettering up there. That might be a tip. Somebody besides Levi. And then I'm going to talk to you at the end here. If this is true, the rumor coming out, this is why it's so important that you folks do engineering and science. We use logic. Uh, I'm, not, I'm at this one right here. Mateo, it's zero, 255, zero. I'm not asking for just 255, my friend. That's green. Exactly right. This is green. And this one is 255, 255, zero. That is aqua well actually my bad my bad you're right it is yellow it is yeah there's a uh, yellow there sorry red and green is kind of a yellow you're right you're absolutely right I'm thinking of 255 0 255 255 gives you kind of an aqua looking thing all right so I just wanted to remind you no big deal all good now grayscale with one argument is exactly what Mateo's talking about right here zero is black 255 is white so that's grayscale. When you only want to use, you don't really care about, you're going from zero to black, that's what you use. Uses less memory. There's a lot of re good reasons to use grayscale. Another reminder, let's talk about fill and stroke. We use this with Inkscape. Stroke is the outside edge. Fill is the inside of that. Uh, Corel drawing, we did that was fill and outline, but the same idea. So when we talk about fill, that's inside. Stroke is the outside edge of this. You know, again, fill and stroke are functions in processing. How would you find out about them? How would you know what the values are? Well, we use our friend Mr. Reference. And there's fill and there's stroke. And you look at it. Some of these you can kind of guess. Some you can look it up and get examples. So let's do this bit of code. This is a perfect for you to see the difference. Size, 480 by 270, stroke, 0, 255, 0. Wow, that's the color green we just said. Fill, 0, square. Go ahead, change the fill from black to what Do this code, get it to run, then change it, the fill from black to white. Please do it.
All right. Some people got this done, please. Let's go. Raise your hands. Hassan, how are we coming? All right. Mateo, how are we coming? Max, how are we coming? Because I'm waiting on you guys. All right. Once you run that code, if you change it to white, all you had to do was change the fill then. Oh, to 255. Last time it was zero. It's black inside. The fill is 255. Change the fill from white to red. Oh, now you got to use the old RGB. Go ahead and do that. Just should take you a second, guys. All you need to do is change the fill function. Ah, could be, huh? Well, no. All right, it's not really a function, but the fill is the function. And there's a couple different ways you can change the color on it. Think of the RGB and the three parameters. When you put these numbers inside a function, those are arguments. So if you want to do RGB, you would probably, by that logic, require three arguments separated by commas. Okay, you all did it. Excellent. So that's the next one. There it is. Change the background from gray to white. All right, so we changed that red. Now here's one I haven't really told you. And this is why I think. So now I purposely, if I told you the function to change the background, hmm, and you're going to change from gray to white, hmm. Gray to white, that's easy there, because you can use RGB, but there's also good shade, gray, gray shade. So um, go ahead, take a minute. Where would I get that information? Change background. Raise your hand once you figured it out. Believe it or not, folks, I'm sitting up here on my Slack channel, and it's come up. I don't know if this is true. This is a rumor. But 5G towers have been attacked by somebody because they, because there is a conspiracy notion that 5G towers cause the virus. My goodness gracious, folks. Yeah, that it is. Mark, you got the right one. Don't make it work. Look in the reference to find it. Raise your hand once you got it. We've got a couple people knocked it out. All right, let me show you the code, folks, because we only have, well, we have just a couple more minutes here. That's what it looks like. So, to a green blue, that's what it looks like. So, you have size and you have background, 0, 255, 255. That gives you that color there. Stroke fill. For the last processing homework, try doing this just for gigs. 
You can make them colors. There's a Zug. That's just an alien. Go ahead and see if you can get him to roll. That's another thing like the face, a little more challenging, but I would also add some color. Save it, and then when we come Wednesday, you can show me if you made your Zug. Supposed to be an alien. This is from the guy who wrote the book I gave credit for. On, uh, what's his name? Don't want to get it wrong. Uh, Daniel Schiffman. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a bunch of celebrities that are telling 5G is causing the virus. That's just kind of frighteningly ridiculous. It was uh, British 5G towers. Oh my gosh. Oh, people, people, people. I will show you. I will show you in a little bit um, some other cool things we're going to do. Got about five more minutes here as you're working on this. Okay. Go ahead, keep working, I'll roll it. All right, folks, I wanted to give you time to go ahead and uh, do yours. So 
So let's go ahead and try this. All right, we're going to be talking about blocks of code, void setup, void draw, or what you use. Remember Arduino, it's void setup, void um, looping. And we're going to go on that, changing colors, squares, corners. We'll get into, that's for next, actually, more PowerPoint than that. We're going to be able to start, we are going to be able to use the X and Y, your mouse, as a location for this. And then we're going to start using events, so you left or right click. So um, that's what you can, can expect when we come back in um, Wednesday. Are there any questions right now? We'll keep working on what you got working there. I'll stay right here with your questions in case you have one. Any questions, folks? Well, um, we can, like I said, processing is going to allow us to do some really cool artwork. For those who are interested, you can do it for data analysis. You get some really cool looking things there. And um, you can tie it with Arduino. So there's a lot of things we can do with this. OK, so this is what I've got for today. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, hit it. I'll see you Wednesday. We don't have class Monday as the uh, it'll be Easter Monday. Okay. So class today, Wednesday, and then we get back next Wednesday. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.